Hello, and welcome back to Arky's Revenge. Next up, The Perils of Friendship. Maybe we're going to be killing a soldier in this one, or a stalwart or something. Or stalwart will be causing us problems. Generally what they like to do. Also, golem rubble. Oh hey, palace. And it is in fact a stalwart. Ooh, and a time token. Oh dear. Alright, uh, cool to see people using older room styles, I guess. I feel like I'm going to miss these. I've been playing through all the Architect Edition uh, stuff, and I'm and basically at the end I'm a couple of holds through having 100% completion of everything up until the release of Journey to Rooted Hold. And I've only been playing with this style of room that whole time, and I'm never going to be playing with it again, I think, once, once I get into Journey to Rooted Hold era stuff and further. So yeah, I'm actually really happy to see people using these these room styles from time to time. I think, um, uh, what, what was it? Uh, King Dugan's Alternate Reality, there were two entries, if I remember correctly, that also used Architect Edition uh, room styles, so that's, that's really nice. Uh, it's nice to see them being used. And the music is, uh, yeah, it's, it's something that you don't get to hear a whole lot. Okay, this is a slightly different format for the Arky Notes here. Success! I have captured a Delver. He wasn't very smart, but this gives me a great idea. Friendship. Now whenever another of his Delver friends comes to help him, he'll just trap himself. If the other Delver releases the roaches, my captive will be fully surrounded before he can do anything about it. There's no way to use a temporal projection to lure the roaches away either. The short fuse makes sure of that. The short fuse? It's not that short. Mm-hmm. I guess the second barrel is just for symmetry, maybe? Oh, I see. I have to run all the way around. And then I can get this, which releases... Hmm. Oh boy, temporal projections. Okay, so, and you... Well, if you move, then this clears. What opens these? The orb does. Alright, well... Let's just see how well our stalwart buddy does. Oh, I see. We're distracting. We can distract the roaches. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Uh... Oh dear. Is this on a force arrow? It is not. Well, this just looks really fiddly. Right, so we can use we can use the projection to distract distract some of the roaches in order to give the stalwart a fighting chance. But it has to be the stalwart that kills all four roaches. Once all four roaches are killed, then we can run in here and Toggle this again after this goes off. I would toggle it ourselves so we don't need the stalwart going back and forth. And then we can get out. Yeah, okay, that's 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 all this is, I think. So I just need to Oh no. Oh no. This is terrible actually. Because I can't see what's going on. And I can't access this. Never mind, I can't get in here. I have to I have to set up a sequence where the stalwart's going to kill all of these roaches. Okay, this is awful. This is an absolutely awful room concept. Unless I'm missing something. Because you have to have a stalwart kill four roaches blind and have this re-trigger at some point. Like if I erase the fuse, what happens?
Okay, um, maybe that's the joke. We actually have enough time to get around the fuse. Well, we do, but what good does that do us, having done that? Well, we can have... My name we, is we, we can now get out. So now if we wait here... Can the stalwart defeat these two roaches on his own if we just wait? I think I wanted this one distracted and not this one, because then from that position you should be able to backswipe. Okay. Uh, maybe this isn't too bad after all. Okay, we're gonna wait here for a few turns. Despawn. Still go for that one. Why? Because you move before roaches. Hmm. Well, that was wonderful. We killed none. Get around. Alternatively, I can have this toggled again, which will. Uh, as long as this is toggled again at some point. Uh, I can just run around and do this again. Okay. Never mind. So then, is there a spot where we can distract multiple roaches? I don't think so. Let's see. If you step, will you step here on your first move? Let's just see what you do. Yes, okay, you do step on your first move. So if we are here, and you step here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, no, you're still gonna go that way. Then you're gonna step here to kill this roach. And you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, step, you're gonna step here to kill this roach. Predicting stalwart movement, uh... I mean, I'm actually kind of okay with stalwarts, but it's it's not pleasant. Um, well, as long as we're stopping this one, is that going to be enough? Instead of, instead of trying to predict everything, I should just be doing this via trial and error until I get it. Because that's really what this is set up for. Because it's a stalwart, you, just, you shouldn't be predicting stalwart movement ever. Especially not blind stalwart movement. It's easy. Step here. So if you've killed that, uh, when you're in this position and a roach is here, one, two, three, one, two, three, you're still going to be going for this guy. You will... Let's see, you're going to... At this point, this will be the closest roach, so you're going to turn your sword this way. Roach steps on the pressure plate. Then you're gonna step here and kill the kill the roach, and then get eaten. Um, I'm pretty sure that's how that's gonna play out. But let's check it. Uh, nope. I. Who is who is it? Who so? Stalwarts prefer swinging over stepping. Slayer prefers stepping over swinging. What about guards? I think guards prefer stepping over swinging as well, so it's, it's an interesting stylistic difference between the two elements. Um, unfortunately. Okay. Well. Okay, let's... If we are... What about if we're here? 
One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I think that's all it really is. We stand here. Both of these roaches are attracted to us. You step here, you s so you're here. You swing your sword. Um, swing your sword to kill it. You're now here. Swing your sword, it moves here. You sidestep back onto the plate. Okay, that's what we're gonna try to do. That's a problem. Could we fix that problem by standing here, though? We sure could. Okay. Okay, I mean, as far as trial and error blind stalwart rooms go, uh, this isn't too bad. I, I can't believe I've actually I've said that as a statement, but... Um, yeah, tri a trial and error blind stalwart room that isn't the worst possible thing. Okay, so what we're going to do here, uh, at this point, turn order means that they will be stacked like this. So if we hit the orb, you've taken a step. So the turn that you take a step, we also want to be here and here. Oh, whoops. And then if we wait there, uh, maybe. One turn too early. Okay. Ah, uh, what what happened? Oh, we don't we don't want you hitting this that early. Ah, are you serious? Oh no, we have to hit this. Okay, I guess we don't get to wait at all. We don't get to wait at all, we just have to, we have to run. And then we just have to time this. Which means that we don't care if you step on this or not. So we want to time that. Ah, uh, but you get killed. You get killed, so the obvious thing doesn't work. We need to wait a turn. What close is this? Only those. Hmm. So we go as fast as we can. Oh, well, maybe, maybe we can do this on a different timing. Like if we did that. We got out. We survived. Okay, captured the stalwart. Oh, and the stalwart's gone now. I guess it's scripted to leave. Okay. It's a nice touch. Uh, whenever another of friends comes to help him, he'll just trap himself. Okay, this was false. The projection is close enough to do it. I mean, the so the problem space was constrained enough that this wasn't the worst possible use of a stalwart. But um, yeah, 
Well, I, I don't really know what else to say about this room. This was... I actually like the concept of the room. I just don't think this is the kind of room that lends itself to being fun to play. The constraints were such that when I realized that uh, you, you can work out, you you have the temporal projection doesn't actually do anything, um, anything tricky because it just has to go, it just has to go. And once you realize that, it's not too hard to, to figure out a sequence that's going to work. So yeah, like I said, for, for a blind stalwart manipulation room, this is not that bad. Um, but it is still a blind stalwart manipulation room. Alright, well that was The Perils of Friendship. And uh, we'll see you next time for the next entry.